So what I'm going to show you right here is how to pre-tin LEDs. And now I've got um, a whole stack of these are the new Philips 660 uh, nanometer reds from, from uh, Rapid. And uh, these are uh, the Cree 455. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to uh, pre-tin. First of all, I've got um, this is the Jeep, just a Radio Shack one. It goes up to uh, 50 watts. I got it set at 40. And then you can see that the the tip is kind of yellowish. So what I do is you take a, a a wet sponge and you wipe off the residue. Then you get your rosin core solder, and this is 0 .32, 0 0.032 diameter, uh, 6040 rosin core from Radio Shack. Uh, I use a lot of Radio Shack stuff. They also are the only ones that carry the the 20 gauge uh, wire. Uh, for connecting these. Now, the first thing you do is uh, after you figure out which order you're going to do your LEDs in, I do plus to this side, minus to this side, is you touch the soldering iron to the pad and you push the rosin onto it. That's it, right there. You're done. Okay, you just want to heat, you don't want to transfer too much heat to the pad. You do want to do this off of the uh, off of the heat sink or else what happens is you transfer most of the heat into the heat sink and it takes longer to heat up the pad to, to allow the, the solder to, to take on there. You can add a little bit more just by touching it there. And then, um, uh, but so what this does is it, it doesn't, uh, you don't heat up the uh, pad as long. So you can really go pretty quick, boom, flip it. Actually what I like to do is I like to do one side and then, and then let it cool and go to the other side and uh, that's it that's it that's it nice and quick like I said you don't heat up the star that for that long flip it around do the other sides actually I gotta wipe I gotta wipe my soldering iron by the way not something else there you go there go. And you straighten it out so you get about now six inches there. The solder. Just push it on. Notice that I'm pushing it on to the tip of the rod, and the rod is heating the, the pad up, so I don't push it onto the pad. Um, now I haven't. And one thing I always I like to mention as well when I'm doing this is that. Um, I'm gonna take these off of the off of the stick because they're kind of warpy. Um, you want to make sure you position the soldering iron so that you are not soldering over the top of an LED because you can easily go right over the top of that LED and fry it. You'll fry the lens. The LED will still work. Um, with the cheaper ones like uh, the Satis LEDs, they have like a little plastic cap that's over them. The Crees and the Phillips seem to have their uh, their setup where um, or the you know that's a, that's the chip right there. There's the, on, the, on the Osrams and the uh, and the Satis, they uh, have a like a dome that's over the the LED and it's kind of a, like a uh, a little uh, what do you want to call it? Um, just a little plastic lens almost and uh, you know that's a that's the 120 degree lens or whatever they want to call it what you do is you heat the pad up enough so that it takes the solder and sometimes you a little bit more remember you gotta leave enough for your wire to connect on so that you don't when you when you put your wire on all you gotta do is is touch the the bead of the sili of the silicone of the uh, the, the rosin or the solder once your soldering iron is hot and then just shove the wire in place and actually what I like to do in that part is um, is tap the uh, or just kind of put the rub the wire onto the solder soldering iron tip and uh, uh, just heat it up a little bit and actually what it'll do is it that that solder will wick will wick right on to the uh, to the wire so you want to do this fast. And actually what I can show you here is that I got enough solder built up on the on the iron where if I touch the pad like this, 
it it sticks. Well, that one isn't real good. What it should do is it it'll spread. I get my soldering iron is uh, cooled down a little bit here, so I gotta let's try this again. Well, if you get enough solder on there, it'll just, there you go. You see that I, that I put the solder on the tip first, and then I tapped it on the pad. And uh, I don't know if that's a better way to do it or not. Probably not. Because you want it to beat up. You know, if you get a little point sticking up. Oh, that was hot. Um, you get a little point sticking up, um, then that is not what you want. Um, that means your soldering iron is not hot enough. Um, you want that solder to bead over on the top where it's nice smooth looking, like almost like a bead of mercury. Um, and let me make sure I got these right here. I'm going to do the minus side on this one. Okay. And these new Phillips star, uh, 660s are on really good stars. Rapid uses really good stars. Um, that's one of the reasons that I chose to, to go with them. Uh, for the 660s, uh, that and when you order a hundred at a time, they give you a little price break, um, which makes it more uh, cost efficient. And you know, it, it the benefit here of using um, their LEDs is that this. Oh crap! I just dropped my solder. Uh, uh, is that uh, the stars are flat on the bottom and they're really good quality and uh, and that's kind of hard to put a price on if you ask me at least just from my experience my limited experience with LEDs if you want to call limited uh, bonding about oh, 150 or so wiring them up so I guess I've got some knowledge but can't claim to know everything So, but, you know, kind of getting redundant here, but, um, I just, uh, I like to talk. And it's 11.30 at night in my garage, and it is currently, uh, 87 degrees in here. Nice, beautifully hot Iowa day. Hit 102 today, I think it was. So, uh, yeah. I had to wait until it was cool enough to do this reasonably okay and well, also what happens damn it uh, what you uh, what you'll end up with is probably a, a little bit of rosin splatter on the bottom because it gets on the board and then you, you know you put this on it you do the next round of soldering and of course it you know gets sticky on the bottom uh, what I do to get that off is use a, a little uh, just a that's a little bit too much solder on that one Um, some people use a solder sucker to do this part, but if you just get it on there, warm it up, pull the soldering iron away, you can uh, get some solder off. Anyways, um, denatured alcohol works really well just on a paper towel. Um, get it on the back of the star, just wipe that rosin, comes right off. Um, I also do that to the heat sinks. Um, I use the Burquist thermal pads, and you want to really clean those heat sinks good before you do that. Uh, because sometimes they come with grease and oil on stuff on them that causes the, the thermal pads not to stick very well and then causes the LEDs not to adhere very well. So you notice I'm using about that much, yeah, about half that much of uh, solder each time. And I've got a little built up here on the. I mean, what I do there is I just kind of do this, you know, and just kind of give it a little thwap with my wrist and uh, and the excess solder then splats on the floor sometimes on your foot which is why you wear shoes so anyway pretending LEDs always a good idea keeps the heat from transferring 